Hello everyone! Another video about our national park adventures! So as you have seen the first video a couple of months ago, we have Circle, started Circle, all the national park that we have traveled together as our JS Adventure YouTube channel. And now we're gonna update our map. So let's see, Stina, let's uh, circle them up. So we went to Fort Smith, right? Mm-hmm, we went to Fort Smith. National Historic Site in Arkansas. We went to Buffalo National River in Arkansas. We went to Pea Ridge National Military Park in Arkansas. Oh. All the ink. Oh, don't screw up. Okay. And then we have been to George Washington Carver National Monument in Missouri. We pretty much finished all Missouri. Yep, we went to all six national parks in Missouri. Wilson, Wilson Creek, Creek National, national Battlefield. Battlefield. And then Harry S. Truman National Historic Site. Did we go to Forest and then, no. Nope. And then Ulysses Miss Grant Green National Green Historic Green Site. Site. And Ozark National Scenic River. Jefferson National Expansion Memorial. No, no, no. That's all. Yeah. Okay, so that's the update. And now we're gonna move to Florida, Florida. which Southern Florida. So first we went to DeSoto National Memorial in Tampa, then Big Cypress National Preserve, then Everglade National Park, Dry Tortugas National Park. Super hard to get super to. hard to get to. And Biscayne National Park. And that completes our Florida National Park. All of them. How many are there from there Florida? Are there's 10 national parks in Florida and we did all of them. Let's see. All circled up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, 10 of them. Oh, actually, 11. Gulf, 11. Gulf, 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 Gulf Island is also Florida. That's close to us. Yep, so we did all of them. Yay, give me five. Yep. In the south, well, this part of the country, we're only missing yeah. Fort Donaldson, Obed, and Stone River. Yep, those are in Tennessee. Tennessee. Those area. are the, and Kentucky. Those are the few that were missing. And in the Oklahoma, we're missing the Chickasaw, Chickasaw Washita Battlefield. Yeah. That, we'll do that on the way back. When we if, drive back. If we drive back to California. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so let's talk about the Southern uh, Florida. What's your favorite park? My favorite park would definitely be Dry Tortugas. Yeah, Dry Tortugas. It's so much fun. Um, we actually didn't go to... Um, the day that we went, the weather condition was not the best. But it was still very awesome. Yeah, it was just post-Hurricane Irma. Uh, and there like three, was four a weeks. little storm. Yeah, and a storm coming, thunderstorm. But it was still really pretty. The water is yeah. blue. And we snorkeled there, it was super fun. But it's super hard to get to because you have to fly there to Miami or Orlando. And we and drove to Key, to Key West. Or... And then take the ferry boat for like two almost three hours, hour, two and a half hours to three hour boat ride. Like rough, very rough ocean. Because it's stormy. So we got there. And, and you get to spend like three hours, I think, on the island. Yeah. But I would definitely want to go back and do more snorkeling mm -hmm. and hopefully in better weather condition mm -hmm. as well. And it's really expensive as well because the ferry ride itself is usually $175 for one person. We're lucky because it's post uh, Hurricane Irma, so they, uh, they have it discounted for like $99, $99 per person. Expensive. And we're students, so that's additional $10 off. And then we have National Park Pass, so that's an additional $10 off. So we only spend like $80. Yeah. So we're really lucky. Mm -hmm. We just got lucky. Or you can do like charter flight, like fly there, but it's like $500 or something. It's really expensive. Yeah. We've seen people do that, which is... Yeah, we saw people do that. Yeah. yeah. And it's way too expensive. Yeah. My favorite is also the dry tortugas, of course. But it's I think so pretty. Biscayan is, Biscayan really is a cool surprise. Too. We actually really enjoyed it as well. Mm -hmm. There's like different uh, boat tour that you can take yeah. to the the keys on the along the Atlantic Ocean. And I would really definitely fun. want to do another tour that mm -hmm. we get to spend more time on the keys because this time we only have an hour. Mm -hmm. So next time I would definitely want to yeah. try to have more time to maybe snorkel or mm -hmm. do more water activities. Yep. And then let's talk about Big Cypress National Preserve. There's a lot of activity you can do there if you're mm -hmm. into like can canoeing or biking and those things. You can do it there. Hiking, hiking camping, over mm -hmm. overnight backpacking. And it's actually pretty close to Everglades, they're kind of similar, but Everglades is the national park division of it. 
So there's like more business and more tram tour, boat tour, those kind of mm -hmm. things. But we didn't get to do too much there because most of the things are destroyed after Hurricane uh, Irma. Like a lot of trails are closed down. So we didn't do too much there. So definitely have to revisit to mm -hmm. fully explore that part. Um, another interesting note is that Big, um, Big Cypress Everglade and um, this Canyon Park, they are kind of like a sister park. Um, they're very close to each other, so they have their Junior Ranger program is all linked together. If you finish their entire booklet for Junior program, you got to have a little special badge. Yeah. So just we we, did we got that. it. We got yeah. it. So it was, Watch our video later. Yeah, no, see. it's pretty cool. It's it's special. Yeah. And if you're into collecting uh, pins like me, they do sell like four packages of pins. Mm. It just include all those dry tortuga, big side press, Everglades, and this can all four in, in one pack, and you save like five dollars. So that's cool. Also, so let's talk about uh, what other part there is. Isoto, Isoto National we Memorial. Spend a lot of time yeah, there, usually National it's Memorial is it's like. They're trying to memorialize this location where some settler come or, or some important event. event takes place. So they're not not really a structure that you you, you specifically yeah. check out like a national um, national Park. monument or something like that. So usually you don't spend a lot much time. But this is a actually a pretty special one because they have a few trail in this national yeah. memorial that's worth checking out. And, and the history itself is really interesting. Um, they have a lot of different clothing for the standard sale oh, yeah. there so you can on the weekend they have people dressed up and stuff you yeah. so you can check it so out so we just didn't have time to do that but it's definitely still a really cool park to check out yeah and other national park are like along the shoreline on the east coast mm -hmm. of florida the fort caroline timokun ecological uh, historic preserve for montanzas and Cur oh, those those forts we have visited them all in one day they're yeah. basically like each one is like a, a fort and then you just visit and visit and visit. It's really fun and then yeah. So yeah, definitely check those out. Shoes. They're all related. The wars are all related. So it's worth checking out in the series. Story all connects together. Mm -hmm. And another cool one is the Canaveral National Seashore. That one is a fun one, I remember. But, but um, you, we went there about two years ago? Mm -hmm. A year ago? Two years ago? Somewhere, somewhere like that. Um, I'm not sure whether or not they are damaged by Irma, so if you are planning on to go Yeah, you should there, read the National reason. Park site yeah, yeah, you should for updated look. advisory information. Yeah, we didn't but I, is that the one that you're allowed to collect sea seashell? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, and then the last one in Florida, West Florida, is the Gulf Island National Seashore. Mm -hmm. It actually cross covered two states, Mississippi and uh, Florida. And that one is just beautiful. You can it's ride there it's close to New Orleans and the yeah. sea is blue over there as opposed to Biloxi's murky <laughs> water. And you can camp there. There's like a couple of fort in there, Fort Pickens, Fort Barrancas. You can it's check really it out. cool. Um, and one of the park is if you follow our other videos, one of the National Park Visitor Center is in the Navy. Naval, naval base, naval like base. Fort Barrancas. Yeah, so you have to, mm -hmm. you can. Oh, and there's also the ship island, you can take a boat ride, 20 something crazy. dollar, and yeah, take like really one funny. hour boat ride outside to the barrier island. That's yeah. also fun. That was really fun. And, but they only open in summer. Yeah, summertime only. Yep, so, yeah, so that basically really covers fun. all the national parks in Florida. Little idea for you guys. If you want to travel, watch our YouTube video for, for all of them actually. Yeah. They'll be coming out shortly. Um, eventually, all of them will be rolling out. Yep. Alright, thanks for watching then. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching our video. JS Adventure is a snippet of our daily lives and travel. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.